Hey guys, happy fall. I am sitting outside of a very cute and quaint coffee shop in Northern Pennsylvania. I am out here for the weekend visiting my son who's playing hockey um, up here and I am enjoying not only spending time with him, but I'm enjoying the beautiful fall foliage and currently sipping a pumpkin spice latte, sugar free of course. Um, so tis the season, I hope you guys are having a great fall. Uh, this month's topic is on the important topic of remineralization. So we'll, I'll discuss briefly in this video um, what that is and what its counterpart, demineralization, is and how we can tip the scale in favor of that remineralization cycle. So first, um, just a little education. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know that um, our, our dental enamel is calcified tissue. Um, which forms the outer protective layer of the anatomical crown of the tooth. Um, but maybe you didn't know that in the oral cavity, um, you're either in a cycle of demineralization or remineralization. There's really never any neutral, no neutral cycle. It's either, um, you know, bad or good. Um, and uh, after an acid encounter, um, so an acid attack due to, you know, sugary food, um, the bacteria, the, the bad pathogens in our mouth and contributes to acid. Um, but after an acid attack, our, your tooth, your enamel, loses minerals. And that is the process known as demineralization. Uh, on the flip side, um, you know, we are, our teeth are capable of um, gaining minerals and absorbing minerals from our saliva. In back into the tooth and that process is known as remineralization and we want to do everything in our power um, to increase uh, the cycles of remineralization the length of time that we're in remineralization cycle um, and we want to decrease those demineralization cycles and so we're going to spend the rest of the video talking about how to do just that um, saliva if you guys don't know saliva is our body's natural buffer Okay, so our teeth, hopefully, our teeth are bathed in a generous supply of saliva. Now, if you're a mouth breather or you're on any medications to decrease your saliva, you know, remineralization is going to be a bit of a more of a challenge for you. We want to ensure a healthy saliva flow. And the reason for that is because our saliva has the, has the capabilities of being saturated with these important vitamins and minerals and nutrients um, to make available for enamel to, to make available for our enamel to remineralize itself. And we do that, we make these um, important minerals and vitamins available to our enamel by, um, by eating whole foods, by our diet. That's the number one way we can remineralize, remineralize our tooth structure. Um, and so below this video, there is a cheat sheet that we made for you guys of the important necessary vitamins and minerals needed um, to be high in high content um, in our saliva so that our enamel can remineralize itself. And we get these important vitamins and neutrals, vitamins and nutrients from eating whole foods. And those whole foods are listed next to the vitamin or mineral. So take a look at that cheat sheet. And I want to challenge you guys today to start to incorporate more of those remineralizing foods that will provide your saliva with the necessary vitamins and minerals to tip the scale in favor of that remineralization cycle. Hope this helps.